Let's take a look at the process of polynomial division. To divide polynomial p of x by d of x, we want to find a polynomial q of x and a polynomial r of x such that the division equals q of x plus r of x over d of x. p of x is called the dividend, d of x is called the divisor, q is the quotient, and r is the remainder. And one important thing to keep in mind is that the goal is to divide until we get a smaller degree for r than the degree for d. So we want the remainder to have a smaller degree than the degree of d. And let me say there is an equivalent way we can write uh, the final answer. If we multiply all of these terms by d of x, we get an expression that's equal to the original p of x dividend. So p of x then becomes equal to d of x times q of x plus r of x. And that can sometimes be a very nice way to look at the final answer. So let's take a look at a problem. There are two ways that we can carry out polynomial division. Long division is more versatile. We can do any division problem using long division. Uh, but there is a more convenient uh, method called synthetic division when it works. Um, but for this problem, we can't use synthetic division. We can only use long division. So I want to divide the polynomial here by 2x squared plus 1. To get started, I want to set up a division bracket. I'm going to put the dividend polynomial under the bracket. And I'm going to write the terms in descending order. So I'm starting with the highest degree term, 12x to the 4, and writing them in descending order. And I'm going to include any missing term. So there's no squared term in this polynomial. So I'm going to add a 0x squared under the bracket. So that gives me room as we're working through the calculation. Uh, we'll see that. Uh, that'll be helpful. And likewise, there's no x term in the divisor, so I'm going to add 0x to the divisor. And now here's the general process. I want to take the leading coefficient of the divisor, and I want to divide the leading coefficient of the dividend by that. So we can make a note of this off to the side. I'm going to take 12x to the fourth and divide that by 2x squared. The result, of course, is 6x squared. So 6x squared becomes part of the final answer. And this is going to be the quotient. We're sort of building the terms of q of x up here above the division bracket. And what comes next, I want to take the 6x squared and multiply the divisor by that. I'm going to write the result underneath. 6x squared times 2x squared is 12x to the fourth. Of course, there's a 0x cubed because of the 0 there. And plus 6x squared. And now, just like with division of numbers, I want to subtract that. So notice that when we do this subtraction, the 12x to the fourth cancels, and that's kind of the whole point. You know, setting up a subtraction here so that we can cancel the highest degree term. The cubed term, when we subtract nothing, we just get the 4x cubed. And for the squared term, I'm subtracting, so I get a negative 6x squared. And now I can bring down the other two terms. And this basically gives me a new dividend, a new simpler dividend. And we want to repeat the process a second time. So I'm going to take the new highest degree term here, 4x cubed, and divide that by 2x squared, by the highest degree term of the divisor. So that gives me 2x, which becomes the next term in our quotient. And if we take 2x times the divisor, we want to write that result underneath. So, of course, 2x is exactly the thing. When we multiply it with the divisor, we get 4x cubed. So the highest degree term is going to cancel. 
the 0 again gives us 0, this time 0x zero squared, and plus 2x. And now I want to subtract that from the new, you know, simpler dividend. And again, notice the 4x cubed, that highest degree term, gets canceled out. Uh, subtracting nothing is going to give us negative 6x squared. And subtracting 2x is where we have to be a little bit careful. Remember this minus sign, I want to subtract the 2x here, and it's going to give me a negative 8x. And finally, we can bring down the plus 15 at the end. So there's going to be one more step in our process. We have a new, again, a new simpler dividend. I want to take the lead coefficient, the highest degree term of the dividend, negative 6x squared, and divide that by 2x squared. That gives me negative 3, you know, just simply the number negative 3. And that's the final term of our quotient. And then if I multiply negative 3 times the divisor, we get negative 6x squared plus 0x minus 3. Now I want to subtract that, remember, and so, you know, this works out so that the negative 6x squared cancels with the negative 6x squared up above. Subtracting 0 from negative 8x just gives us negative 8x. And again, we have to be careful. Subtracting negative 3 from positive 15 is going to give us plus 18. And now, notice we've completed the process. This polynomial at the end, the dividend, the new dividend, is now really called the remainder because the degree now is smaller than the degree that we started with, the degree of the divisor. So this is our little d of x polynomial. And the quotient is up above the bracket. So let's put together our final answer in one of the forms that I described initially. Let's use this form here. So we want p of x over d of x to be equal to q of x plus r of x over d of x. And so let me write out this part of our expression. For this particular problem, q of x is 6x squared plus 2x minus 3. And I want to add to that r of x, negative 8x plus 18, divided by d of x, 2x squared plus 1. And that's it. That's the final answer for our division problem. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.